Hey Shopify users, if you would like to show video with text in your image with text section on your DOM theme, please stick around and I will show you how you can achieve this. So what I'll be modifying is image with text section right here. And first thing first, always create a backup of your theme. I have already created a backup. So we are going to go into code, edit code right here. And then go to sections and within sections, there is image with text. And in this file, we are going to go down to the settings area right here and right under here where you see this image picker, I am going to add a couple of settings here. So right below hit enter and this two settings I'm adding a video URL and a video image URL and save this. After this, we go up to the section where you see this image area right here. And what we are going to do is right before where you see this else, hit enter and then I am going to add this right here. So write this section right here. So else if section settings video URL, it's this video tag and some settings. And what's happening here is this video URL is the setting we added. And then this image URL is the setting we added. That's where these values are gonna come from. And hit save. And next we are going to do some changes up in this area. So, First one we are going to do is look for around line 20 where you see this global media setting. I am going to replace that with this. So basically it's the same global media setting but it has a condition. And next we'll go a bit further down this line is a little long right here where you see section settings image media so right around here where you see this else we are going to replace this with this so before this was just else now it's else if Remember, there's no E in here in the else. Section settings video URL is equal to these empty quotes. And then after that is the same whatever was there. So next what we are going to do is go to the beginning of this line. Same, we're still on line 20. It'll be line 20 if you haven't made any changes. If you've done custom changes, then it might be different. Then you can look for these classes where I'm adding this. So right in the beginning where you see this first class right here. So in here, I am going to add a class. And that will be like this. This is the class I added. And now save this. Next, we are going to go add all these classes to the CSS file. So what you're gonna do is go into the assets folder and right towards the top, you're gonna look for component image with text and you scroll all the way down right below here. I'm adding this CSS and now save. All right, all that code added, let's take a look at the customize area first. So I'm expecting a couple of settings being added here. 
So right here you're seeing video URL and a video image URL. So I'm going to paste the video link up here and then an image link in here. And this image link here is when you are going to be showing a video uh, that is not auto playing, so it shows a image, still image of the video. It might not be as important to you on the desktop, but you want to do this for mobile devices. Otherwise, on iPhones uh, and some other mobile devices, there's this big white space with just a play button, and that does not look good. So, save this, take a look what we have. I'm going to refresh this. And right here, you see a video playing. So this here is good. And if this uh, does it for you, you don't have to do any more changes. This is good. But I wanted to take this a little further and tie some of uh, the settings for this video with, um, with different settings uh, that can be controlled from the customized area. So let's do that next and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a few more settings in this area let's go back to image with text liquid file we go down to where we had added these two settings and right below that i'm going to add three more settings so one is to control the autoplay one is if you want to show controls. One is if you want the video to loop. Now save this. And now what we are going to do is we're going to add relevant code up here to make use of those settings. So where we added this video tag earlier right here. So it has these settings in here already. So I'm going to tie these to those settings below that we just added. So right here, loop, controls, and autoplay, muted. So I'm going to add this. So basically, I've wrapped all those settings with some conditions. And one thing in here to note is this area right here. So videos that are autoplay should always be muted. Otherwise, some devices, phone devices, and actually um, all the browsers mostly, they will uh, mute your video if you autoplay a video with sound. So that's why these two settings are together. So now save this. And next, take a look at our customize area. On the right hand side, right here, you're seeing all these settings that we added. So I am going to check all these for now and save and let's take a look back here of course we're not going to see any difference because everything we have checked so let's go back and i am going to uncheck something like say autoplay if no sound i'm going to uncheck this save it and now of course we expect this to not play automatically so right here you see it's not playing you have to click to play and uh, that is good so uh, we can also actually take a look at like a mobile screen size right here the text moves down the video is playing on top and uh, looking good so that's it and um, one Thing I want to mention here is let's go in here and try a few of the other settings that are there with the original image and text this should still work the same so for example you want the image to show first then you can uh, right here do this image first and you see same thing it, it's showing the video first now and then also these text here he has alignments and stuff and right here center it's still in center so so you can play around with this whatever you want and uh, save this 
And one important thing I want to mention here is that there is this color scheme here. So mine is white, mine the hair, but you might be using this, but if it's the default, then you probably have the white background one is a white color. Uh, what happens is if you use any other color here, so for example, like this, you see this gray background, you see it doesn't look as good with the video. The video being it has a certain dimensions, right? And it's not going to stretch out to fill in that space. So that is something for you to keep in mind. If you're using a video, just don't have any of these other backgrounds in here. So I'm going to get this back to background one, which is white. And that's it. So if you like the video, please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.